This is a quick demo of using versioning within Resolve, which is a way to try out multiple different color looks on the same clip uh, without losing the work that you've already done. So let's say I have this color grade here. Um, I'm like, you know, this is okay, but I have some different ideas I want to try. But I'm not sure whether they're going to work or not. I want to be able to come back to this. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'll show you in the menu first, then keyboard shortcut is add a grade version. So under the color menu, I go to grade version and do add. And you can see the shortcut for that is command Y. And when I do that, uh, what you'll see is show up right over here on the left side of my coloring um, image, a uh, thing that says uh, color version has been added. The color grading version is added. Um, so now within this clip, if I pull up my clips up here, right click on it, you'll see there's a version 1 and a version 2. So uh, version 1 was what I had, version 2 is what it just created, which you'll notice starts out exactly with what I already had for version 1. So let's say that I decide to do something else here. And hide this for a second. And look at this, said, you know, I want to sort of change the color of this road a little bit. So I'll go to my HCL qualifier. I grab some of the road. It's not bad. For that a little bit. And just try to see if I can grab a little more of it. Something like that. And starting to get a little fuzzy back over here. So I think what I'm going to do is combine this with um, a gradient. Whoops. Window. And flip this around. So it's affecting the stuff below and then sort of fades out as we get off into the distance. So we'll say that's decent for a quick pass. Um, then I'm looking at this and said, you know, I think there's a, the color of this just isn't right. It looks like it's got a little blue to me. Let me just. Shift that away from the blues a little bit, make it a little more gray. Um, as you see, this was the original shot. This is once I've shifted it. You can see, like, okay, yeah, actually, that probably does look better. But let's say I had done something too far and it really didn't work, and you know, I did something like this, and maybe I can't fix it. And I'm like, oh, this, this is just not working. I want to get back to where I was. Well, I still have that other grade saved. So I can go back in here and go back to version one and say, hey, load that, take me back to where I was, and then I could continue working from here. Or if I'm trying out a couple of different looks uh, on some footage, like you are for one of these homework assignments, you could do the same thing, create several different versions with different looks, and then you can sort of try them all out. The great thing about this is I don't have to keep going into this menu to do this. There's also a shortcut. Um, I can use Command B or Command N, and I'll show you those here. Command B is the previous grade, Command N is the next. So if you had a bunch of grades and you knew you wanted to go, I'm on grade three and I want to go to four, I could use this. Or if I want to go to two, I could use this. Uh, they will just loop around. So if I'm on grade one right now and I hit either of these, it'll go to grade two because I only have two grades. So I can either go forward to grade two or I can go previous. It says, well, there's nothing before one, so I'll cycle around to the end and go back to two. So I usually just, force of habit, tend to use command B. I can sort of cycle through. There's my two different grades. And you see each time I'm doing it up here, I can see which version is loaded. So I can tell them on version one, version two, whatever. And maybe, you know, I said, you know, version two, I kind of like that I how I isolated this here I just didn't get the color right um, let me try something else and maybe I want to still be able to get back to this for some reason I can go ahead and add another version I'll hit command Y now I'm, I have a third version and in this case since I know kinda how I screwed this up let's pull this sort of back to something that actually looks like what we want which is we're just trying to take away some of that blue not actually make it green Okay, so I can look at that and say, okay, there was what I had, there was what I started with, version 1. I'll hit Command-B again, it'll go back to version 3. 
can go back to version 2. If I want to go forward to version 3, Command N, and so I can look at these and say, you know, actually, yeah, between these two, there was version 1, version 3. I actually do like this a little better, so I'm going to go with that. Um, and that's how you get multiple versions of the uh, color grade for the same shot.